What's up, Zombie Talk? One, two, three. Your very exciting night for me as a diehard Cardinal fan. Watching last night and not as you're watching it. Following that, sorry, I don't have a dish. Depressed about that. If anyone has MLB, uh, MLB TV account, give me the password. I know it's kind of weird, but seriously, I would, I would kill to watch the game next season. But anyway, getting past that, uh, the Cardinals being eight and a half back at the beginning of the month and ten and a half back uh, with a month and a few days. The Braves have gone something like. Nine and or like, yeah, I'm not even gonna say that exact number. All I know is that they have way under 500, have been struggling a lot. Obviously, having Jared Jurgens and Tommy Hansen now have definitely hurt them. But the pitchers have come in, it has not done that bad of a job. Delgado and guys like that, they have done a pretty good job, really, matching up with some really good pitchers. The problem for the Braves have been their offense. No one is hitting Atlanta. The last few games, they haven't been scoring runs. That's why I'm very optimistic. Yes, I know Tim Hudson on the mound. Yes, I know Joe Blanton's on the mound for the Phillies. If it was Roy Holiday, I'd be even more optimistic. But I'm still optimistic that the Braves can still lose tonight and the Cardinals can still win tonight. We have Carpenter and the Astros have Brett Myers. Um, I'm not exactly sure career numbers against the Cardinals, but I've seen games where he's really uh, pitched well against us. That could be a problem. What I know is that we have to win tonight. That's the most important thing. I don't care if the Braves lose or win. I mean, obviously I care. But the most important thing is we got to win tonight. There's no option for us losing. Even if the Braves lose, we're going to feel really bad if we lose and the Braves lose because we knew that we had the chance to win the wild card against the Braves. We have to win tonight. We're going to be fired up. We are closing in our wild card victory. To even be tying this thing up is absolutely amazing. In the middle of the season after that Colby Rasmus trade and we got a really bad, a terrible streak. It seemed like just not winning. We didn't look like a good team. And the, everything was going the Brewers' way. They were winning all these games. You knew they were going to win the Central. People started kind of paying attention to the wild card. I'm sorry. I was kind of a pessimistic about the wild card. I usually am not. I was like, you know, the Braves, because I really respected the Braves. It was the main reason. I didn't think we really had a chance beating the Braves. But, of course, that was when the Braves were on fire. Everything was working for them. Craig Kimbrell and all their bullpen was absolutely on fire. And this last month, the bullpen has kind of let them down, really. They've blown a few more saves. He, the most normal one, the choke one, where he <laughs> called the choke. Uh, we had one earlier that night, and I think we were trying to get three games out or something like that. And they were about to win, and then Omar Infante hit a two-out two home run. And I think that kind of was the one that really set the Braves down there. They've gone on a terrible streak, not just since then, but just this whole month. They've been really bad. Offensively, have been terrible. But the fact that impressed me so much is, you know, the Cardinals have been able to be fired up by this. We swept uh, the Braves um, when we were in Atlanta. We are winning every game. We even won three out of four from the Phillies, you know, and so it really shows we're on fire. Uh, Rafi off call. Hopefully he can come back tonight. Alan Craig being a hero last night. I actually had a premonition before the game that, you know, we lost a game before. Yes, I know Holiday's healthy right now. But we need to get find a way to get Craig in that lineup. We can't put him a second because that's putting too much on defense, and that could cost us the game. And then what happened is Holiday got hurt again, and Alan Craig got put in the lineup. So we'll see what happens tonight if Alan Craig's in the lineup or Holiday. I'm not exactly sure how significant the injury is. Uh, Rafi off for call. I wouldn't mind seeing him in at short either. Um, we have more bench bats than I thought. You know, Daniel Descalso is uh, Daniel Descalso is a clutch hitter. Some clutch hitters are on the bench, and Ryan Terrio came through again last night. So we'll see what happens tonight. Um, Everything is on this game, though. You know, we have to win. We are facing the Astros, so you got to feel, you know, pretty good about your chances. Hopefully, Albert gets out of this little streak that he's been in, and hopefully he can get to 100 RBIs. But, again, I'd rather have a playoff berth than Albert getting 100 RBIs by far, but it would definitely be nice for him to continue the streak. Um, I'm just so amazed that we're in this opportunity right now, and I'm literally, after I make this video, maybe one more, I'll probably go downstairs and start watching on ESPN. They have all the games of Boston Rays and the Cardinals and Braves. Um, the Cardinals were just thrown out of sync in the beginning, all right? And I didn't throw them out. We had Lance Berkman. If you look at what we had last year, the improvements we made were pretty big. Um, obviously, would if we would have gotten J.J. Hardy, I'm pretty sure we have already won this thing. Um, not as many errors at shortstop, way more offensive threat. J.J. Hardy almost having 30 home runs this year. Have a guy like that on free agent market and you go for a guy like Ryan Terrio or you trade for a guy like Ryan Terrio instead of going for J.J. Hardy and he comes back and has a year he does, it, it, I mean, not signing him just complicates so many problems for us. We end up having a trade for for call and we'll probably end up trying to re-sign him. Uh, unless we go and sign up Jose Reyes, I am totally, uh, you know, kind of pissed at the Cardinals for not going out and getting J.J. Hardy. Um, 
I would have definitely, you know, looked at a bat like that and said, we got to jump on that, you know. Ryan Terrio is not going to do much better than, you know, steal five to ten bases. Even though his numbers, career numbers, pointed like he would steal like 20 bases, and he hasn't done anything like that for the Cardinals, mostly because Tony Larusa hasn't really let him run much. Um, but he's had a really down defensive year. He's a second baseman, not a shortstop, you know. But um, we played him at shortstop, and it didn't work out, so we go for, for call. But the main thing here is that Terrio comes up really big last night. Skip Schumacher came big last night. Alan Craig came big last night. Um, kind of the guys you'd expect to hit home runs were kind of struggling, except for Berkman had a few hits and stuff. Uh, Albert was just trying to hit too hard to hit home runs. He swung in a pitch that hit him. That shows that he is... Oh, you know, he is trying to get to the 100 RBI mark. He's trying to help his team out, and I appreciate that. He's trying to hit a home run. He wants to be the hero here. He's trying a little too hard. I mean, this is not Albert who swings at a pitch, literally hits him on the elbow, and he gets hurt. You know, you're either going to get out of the way or you're going to take that pitch, get hit, and get to first, because that was a critical situation in the game. We ended up scoring a few runs when there was two outs and nobody on. So that shows the Cardinals are going to be relentless, and they're going to be, even if they're down in the ninth inning, they're not giving up, and they could still win this game. They're a powerful offensive team, have the best offense in the game, um, or at least in the National League. They have the best batting average and all these stats, so I props to Mark McGuire. Um, the fact that Dave Duncan is joining the team tonight has been gone for a while, and the pitching staff has held it together really nicely, actually. Um, maybe proves that having Dave Duncan is not as important as we think. Uh, obviously, it's amazing. And the most, the most important reason that the Pitchers are doing so well is probably because of the things that he's helped them out, little uh, fundamental things. But the Cardinals have proved that they've learned enough from him that they're independent to go out there and start. And I think it's been really impressive. Um, a lot of the veteran guys have done that. But what I find really impressive about this Cardinals team is these young guys are coming up in big situations, Alan Craig mostly, and getting big hits. Yadier Molina having the best offensive year of his career. Uh, Lance Berkman still contributed. He's right around 300. Um, you know... And this game means so much. I'm about to go start watching it. I hope everyone does. Hopefully this is a good night. Hopefully we can win the game. Hopefully the Braves lose. Uh, you know, I would be totally fine with both of the, us winning. We just need to win this game. A tiebreaker would be super fun to watch too. We just need to win this game. It's so important, all right? And it would be amazing. I think if we win this game, Tony LaRusso wins NL Manager of the Year. Most likely. The fact that he's been criticized so much this year over little things. He has, excuse, you know, excuse my laser. I'm not going to actually say it, but he's been a B-I-T-C-H this year. A lot, a lot of things. But this last month of the season, he's been a lot calmer, a lot looser. Uh, and he's actually smiled a little bit. And this team has played well. I think having the young guys come up have been really nice, too. I've really liked seeing Chambers up there. Um, but I think this is really important. And, and, you know, he's, I think he's been a lot looser lately. He still makes some dumb bullpen moves every once in a while. But... Uh, Overmans is a little bit, but he's been better, and I think he's going to win the NL Manager of the Year if. It's a big if, if. If we can win tonight and the Braves lose, or if we win the tiebreaker if we win tonight. Uh, losing is not an option tonight, though. Not at all. Uh, even if you say, even what if the Braves lose? It's still not an option, all right? Because if you lose and the Braves lose, you're going to feel really bad because you knew you could beat the worst team in the major leagues to win the wild card. We need to win tonight. This is very important. We have to win tonight. We have to beat Brett Myers. Chris Carpenter's got to go out there and pitch well. I'm gonna go about to go watch the game. So let me talk one, two, three. Thanks for watching. Hopefully the Cardinals can win tonight. If you're a Braves fan, I'm sorry. It's been a huge collapse. If you're a Boston fan, I'm sorry. It's been a huge collapse. If you're a Rays fan, uh, let's go, guys. All right, so thanks for watching. So let me talk one, two, three.